Hey everybody, welcome back to Junior Info Media. Oh my god, we have a big It's the security is in that. It's a penguin invasion or what? Not really. This is a big old problem. Karoot is what I want to talk about. So first, let's just... I'll just tell you what I want to talk about. So if you've seen any arch slash gen 2 installation or any command line installation for that matter, including Debian. But anyway, you have Karoot, right? Change root. This was our full name of it. So, see it is great. I like it. I have been using it for a while. But the problem I have is security. So, take for example, you travel a lot and you also give your computer for service a lot. So, yeah. So, take that for example. And then, then take for example that you give the computer to a guy who knows Linux very well. So like he he's a, he's a Gen 2 guy and all of that. I don't know that's there's very less people who are like that, but just think there is somebody like that. So yes, so then what he does is he puts an arch USB into your computer. He then I mean arch installation thingy or whatever. He he, he carries into your installation already installation. I mean he mounts it. So uh, what he do is like mount. Slash dev is the B. It, it can be something else too, but it's just M and T. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Not SDB. It's, it should be SDB2 or something. Yeah, it should, it, uh, yeah SDB2. Sudo. Now, now that that's done, he can easily just uh, change root into, into the computer. So, root slash dev. I mean, not that. Uh, M. And T slash. Oh, oh, sorry. I need to do so. Do that. Yes. So now I am inside that computer, so I can do whatever I want. For me, I broke that installation, so Pacman doesn't work. But see, Pacman doesn't work. But uh, in a useful machine, it works. I have tried it out. It works. So here, I, for me, the Pacman help works. So let's do Pacman space as you. Yeah. Some issues there. So I don't know why. I don't really care. But anyhow, so this is what happened for me. But that's because I have, a, I killed the installation. But anyhow, that's the problem. I can almost everything I want. So see, I'm also gonna cd, I'm gonna cd into slash. Home, uh, actually, no, already home, right? So if I do a list command list, I can see I ha I'm already in my first thing. So I can just cd into my. Uh, I have some personal stuff in that drive, so I'm not going to put it down for it, but I, I'm going to do a desktop. So, now if I do a list, I can see what all is on my desktop. There's nothing, but if there is something in the downloads at desktop or whatever, they can take it, right? So, that's a really big security risk, which I feel the, I feel it's very easy to patch. The second, the, the way you can patch it without doing any a lot of work is to encrypt your drive. So. What I want to do is I have this uh, I have a U Sandisk USB plugged in this, this is a 31 gig USB. I want to do a format real quick. I'm using Nautilus because yeah, GNOME has one of the best formatting utilities I have ever uh, used. So yeah, I just open GNOME disk. Who cares? Discs. Yeah, here it is. GNOME disks. God, what is this? Sandisk. Yep. Format partition. And I can, if I use XT4, I can loop protect it. So, yeah, because most of you guys will use XT4. So, I'm gonna put a 1234 as the password. So I'm, I'm not gonna encrypt my drives because that's really a stupid thing for me. Because, like, I really use this drive a lot, and I do sometimes use this on a non 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 Linux devices like my father's computer, it turns Windows, etc. So, I don't do this a lot, but. You, you can right so now that we have done that now what I can do is if I open my not the super enter or my terminal now if I, do, if I try to mount this yes mount slash dev slash sdc sdc1 space slash mnt oh sorry I think I have something called mnt slash I just well, I decided to mount it to MNT really quickly. It's probably one move, but let's see. 
Yeah, sorry, I, I just put the wrong thing. Let's do this block real quick. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Holy sh. I got my mouse to our word, sorry. That's the name. So, it's really rough to mount it because uh, I had like copy the whole thing. It's going to take a while. And I actually does not have these. I think because I use Starship right now, but it usually has the thing. But whatever, I'm just going to open Thermite real quick. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna open the terminal. Oh shoot! This is awful. Anyhow, <laughs> it's blocked. So if you see here, I can just copy paste it. It's one option. Yeah, I can. No, works in the terminal. I see the alacrity thing, but whatever. If I do that, now I say to mount it really quickly. Slash dev slash. Oh sorry. Slash mnt. Oh ha! This mount it. It can't. This mount automatically. And if you wanna use it, you can uh, open something like. Sorry, I just open my. Let's open Dolphin real quick. Yeah. Yeah. Now that I'm here, I can open this encrypted drive. Is it open? Oh, it's not hard drive. Pure. I think uh, it works because I am already in it. So I'm just gonna do something really quickly. I'm gonna cut it into my other drives. So <laughs> yeah. Oh, not the gnome terminal. The gnome terminal sucks. Let's cut sudo ch root space slash mnt. Now that I'm here. Now I am not mounted technically because I am not in my main machine now. So now if I do a mount, I mean, yeah, mount, right. Sorry, I'm just going to first do a block real quick. Hope it works. Yeah, just uh, corrupt installation, sorry. But yeah, oh, let's just think that I have any other extensions. I think I have many. I have one from the Raspberry Pi, but it's ARM64 and I have X86 CPU. Anyhow, so hey, let's just do a U mount real quick. Wait, now, okay, wait. I think I can do this in the, the here itself. So I want to do an unmount really quickly. So now, oh, I can't access it. How? I can it, right? Wait a second. So now if I click mount, I don't, huh? Yeah, so, the thing is, I don't know why it's not working, but whatever. Let's, let's just give me a second. Let's open disk seal quick again. And then I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reformat this. Yes. Oh, yeah. Not that, sorry. I put the computer pass on here. So now we are to edit the, hard, the drive. You need to unlock it. So now we have unlocked it. We can delete the files format for partition into test test. I'm gonna password protect it. Like I'm gonna use looks again. Yes. Next. No. Put the password in, and then next. This is format the device, uh, and after that. Some Sorry, but after that is done. <coughs> Sorry, okay, that's that's my you see there that I've got nothing like that. Anyhow. So we have two lux protections. Now I want to lock the lux. So the whole thing is locked now. So now if I go to my Nautilus or water, I'm just gonna use Nautilus because. That's why, yeah. So if I click on this, I need the password. So yeah. Now if I open the terminal, we can't. I'm, I, if I do a lsblk, let's block. I can see SGC. So now if I try mounting it, mount that as SGC, not SGC one. Sorry. Okay, sorry. It was sudo that. Yeah. So it, it cannot mount Luke's partition. So. It doesn't mount it, so we can't do it. But at the same time, this is a really tough thing to 
battle like if you are if you crash the installation and you want to recover the files so on the hard drive that's why i did some time back when i crashed my older installation i think i did two three two three days back but you know so but th- that's also gonna tough like uh, encryption is really kind of sucks for me especially because i like to boot really quickly and decryption really takes over a second so that's why but uh, but then let's see what the linux guy the linux foundation that uh, anybody in the who can who contributes to the kernel can do so i don't know this this has to be done by the distro owner or it should be done by the linux kernel developers but i'll i'll tell you. so whenever we do ch root change root it just has to do one thing that is uh, it's supposed suppose we just make a arch instruction and we do arch ka root that the root space let me want you whatever he should say sorry uh, you, you have to make a, a root password and and it will say same actually we don't even need to do that well for before we mount it we need to make a mounting password <coughs> and we, i i don't think we should have any thing like if we see in a lot of this shows we cannot put a real 1 2 3 4 password it's also actually there in windows but yeah so that's actually a big thing for me so we have to be able to put 1 2 3 4 password etc because if they see a password they are like uh oh they don't even need to, they won't even try it unless and until they are like really determined which they will not probably because most of us do not are not targeted especially like really but so you can put your birthday like if you're born 11 and 1950 or whatever you can put 1150 like that i'm talking about like that okay so uh, you can put like that it's, it's not say like it's too weak you cannot do it you should not be need to need to put uh, like 6 to 8 to 8 to 10 alpha numeric with this dollar symbol or whatever password that i do not like so they should make it such that we can do it with a really small password i'm just saying the same point again and again all the other way is like they click a root and and you have to do all, you can do all the stuff from the mount oh, so that will also kind of be still security is because mount is really security but anyway, i'm just going to try something now so i'm just going to ls it is cd into crash mnt real quick ls oh cd into home cd into aria k now that i'm here so here i am now i can do so what i think i can i should be able to do i can actually i forgot to show you but i am pretty sure we can open ranger in this if i have ranger installed Oh yeah, yeah. Here, here I am. It, this computer, I mean Ranger, installed. I can go here to my. I can just copy my awesome config. How do you do it actually? Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah. So yeah. So if you can see here, I'm pret. If I know the shortcut for Ranger, I can see P here. Where's copy i don't know i don't use ranger a lot oh yeah i think it's copy now i can go to my main computer directory i can paste it over here and paste now i i should have got what did i copy yeah awesome right so i have the awesome again so yeah uh, that's uh, that simple you, you have to have ranger installed it's probably most of you do because it's uh, most of you need a terminal based file manager because it's a school cool style whatever but that's so simple right that's why i was just thinking this is a really good idea with the next devs should implement or this is going to be a real big security risk because not as i told before not everybody can loops encrypt their volume right so like i as a person i i just do a lot of i cut up my installations a lot so like for me it's really not that good but but so this is most mostly you have to check if you are if you travel a lot give your computer or slash, uh, slash some part that involves your data to a service center or something like that a lot or if your computer uh, you t- tend to leave your computer in the public places where other people from time just take it for a second etc so you have to encrypt your volume always and in those cases 
and also if you if you uh, ha if you use your external hard drive and go to some library computer or whatever yeah, i also uh, uh, suggest you do that because suppose you leave the computer the hard drive there forgetting that but then they, the uh, the other people who access the computer cannot use it right so that's also another thing you should do if you are doing like that so that's it so that the on or only almost good way to do it is encryption or the kernel dev should have a patch for this so yeah Any, anyway thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one bye